inside of not adulthood, everything falls all the time. <laughs> it's Andy and today I'm here with a collection of things that I call subtle signs of adulthood. Now adulthood is not so much an age as something I've learned in my lifetime. My 22 years of wisdom have taught me that there is no magical age at which you become an adult. Adulthood isn't so much an age as a state of mind and I have recently been discovering some very subtle signs of impending adulthood that are happening in my life and it's distressing me a lot. So I feel the need to share them with you and see if I'm the only one who thinks about this. Wanting to cook real meals, like not pasta, because everyone and their dog can make pasta. Real meals like casseroles and chicken with vegetables and other side dishes. Let me tell you, I would kill to have some mashed potatoes with my dinner. And I know mashed potatoes are easy to make, but it's the fact that you desire to make these that is a sign of adulthood. When you do order food in or bring in takeout or something, you prefer to put your food on an actual plate rather than eat it out of the box or the bag or whatever it's in. I don't know when this happened. I just brought home some takeout one day and suddenly I was like, hmm, I'd rather put this sandwich on a plate rather than eat it right out of this to-go box because it'll be neater and it'll look nicer. When did I start caring about that? When did I become an adult in that manner? Another side of adulthood is developing a strange love for container stores. What? When did this happen? How do we, when did I develop a love for all things Tupperware? And suddenly, recently, I've just been like, plastic containers in which I can put items. Oh my God, how wonderful. Where did that come from? What is happening to my brain? It's becoming an adult. You also have a strange love for coupons. Now we get these in the mail all the time, these little advertisements and coupons and all that. And it's just junk mail for the longest time. And then suddenly one day you're like, look at all this money I can save. This might just be me. I might be just learning about coupons. You make budgets monthly. You may not necessarily stick to them. That is another step to adulthood. This first step is you make the budgets. You make a sudden decision to cut off all of your long hair. You actually get tired of going to parties and just getting wild. I know some of you are gonna be thinking, no, that's never gonna happen to me, but it does happen. You get tired of it and you just would rather stay home by yourself. Or you become the drunk mom at the parties. You go to the parties, you have, you have some fun, but at the end of the night, you're the one who feels the need to take care of everyone else who is blotto drunk which is not a bad thing. Everyone needs a good drunk mom and I happen to think I'm pretty good at it. You have coffee table books. Now you know what these books are. Your mom definitely has a coffee table book. It's just a book that's sitting on your coffee table that no one in your house has ever read, but it has a nice cover and it's interesting. It's meant to start conversation. This is my coffee table book. My mom gave it to me. It's called How to Live with a Neurotic Cat. Are you a neurotic cat, Jasmine? Okay, so those are some of the subtle signs of adulthood that I have discovered in my life. Now, if you can think of any more, leave me a comment below and tell me all about it. Thanks for joining me on a trip into Andy land. Leave a comment, like, and subscribe if you would like to hear more from the depths of my brain. Tell your friends, share this video, and have a great day, guys. Hey.